Well, if you've spent any amount of time online, you've likely come across CAPTCHAs. They take different forms, from typing in squiggly letters to identifying images on a grid. Anyways, all of them have the same goal, right? Which is to make sure that you're a real person and not a robot. But the time-consuming technology could be on the way out as more secure alternatives emerge. So for more on this, let's bring in Shira Ovide. She is a tech reporter for the Washington Post. Can I say hallelujah? Because they're so irritating. And then you hear like all this, these stories about how, you know, some, some bot bought up 300 concert tickets. So then I'm like, well, obviously it don't work very well because the bots still, still seem to be getting past them. So let us, I just learned that this, this is called a CAPTCHA. So let us talk about CAPTCHAs and how they became so prevalent. Why do these websites use them? Well, really websites use them for two reasons. One is to stop fraud, right? So things like criminals who might steal a million or millions of credit card numbers and then hammer a website with those credit card numbers to buy stuff as fast as they can mm -hmm. before the credit cards are stopped, right? And in theory, these captures, these little check boxes or little quizzes, the puzzles you have to solve, they're intended to discourage or slow down people who are committing fraud on websites. And the other thing, as you mentioned, is things like automated software, bot software, that people like ticket scalpers use the minute that a Taylor Swift concert ticket goes on sale, they'll use these automated software to hammer that ticketing website and buy up all the concert tickets in this rapid fire fashion before you and I even have a chance to, to pull out our credit cards. So those are the two reasons that CAPTCHAs exist. But as you said, they're annoying. <laughs> Literally everyone hates them and they don't really stop criminals or ticket. No, they just stop humans because I feel like they've gotten harder and harder. Like once upon a time, it was very clear which box had, I don't know, the, the intersection lights. But now I'm like, I think three of them for sure. And that fourth one looks like it has a bottom corner of a light. I'm going to click it and, and hope it all works out. Or I, I don't know if the case, you know, uppercase, lowercase, does that count? All these questions. So there are more effective alternatives. What is on the horizon? that hopefully will be less frustrating, but more effective. Yeah, and I have the same frustration <laughs> that you have. And, and it's, it's true, captions are getting harder to solve. So this technology that, that could kill captions for good, um, they go by different names, but companies including Apple and an online security company called Cloudflare, they're backing a technology standard that's called privacy packs. And the idea here is that instead of you and I, real humans, having to prove to a computer that we're human, which is a pretty dumb idea if you think <laughs> about it, right? Instead of doing that, computers are basically quizzing one another to determine who's exhibiting bot-like behavior mm. and who's exhibiting human-like behavior, right? So let's, let's let computers do all this in the background without you and I, real people, having to do anything that wastes our time. I love it. Listen, the other kind of area of irritation, though, is two-factor authentication. I get it why it's there, but often it depends on, you know, going back to your cell phone. And if your cell phone's dead or not accessible, then you don't get the code. I mean, is that going to be mothballed or is that, or is that here for a while? I hear you. Look, two-factor authentication right now is one of the best things that we can do to improve our security online, but you're right. It's incredibly frustrating, and the long-term goal has to be completely killing the online security system we have today that relies mm. on us creating and then remembering potentially hundreds of unique passwords to all the online accounts we have. So again, there are companies, including Google and Apple and many others, that are working on a standard called passkeys, which replaces password with, again, machine-to-machine -machine verification that we are who we say we are. And I'm very encouraged by this. Look, passwords are going to be with us for a very long time, but there is hope that this whole dumb system of online passwords that's annoying and insecure is finally going to be killed. R.I.P. all of it. I cannot wait. Uh, Shira uh, Ovide, thank you very much.